Hello, this is Anthony Salter, and I'd like to give you a brief overview of what's different in version 006 of Ultima 7 Revisited. As you can see, um, in this version, objects are drawing. As you can also see, they are not drawing very well. There are lots of objects in the game. There are 1,024 objects, and each one can have up to 32 frames, and each frame can represent a different object. So there are a lot of objects. So how do we fix them? Well, we fix them with uh, the object editor. And what you're going to do is click on something, press F1 to open the object editor, and you can see that this door does not look right. It's, it's got open spaces, it's got uh, a cutoff place right here. This, is, this just doesn't look right. Uh, over here you can see the original texture and then how it was split up into the three subtextures: the top, the right, and the front texture. Now the split in this case did not work very well. Um, I just used the default uh, width, uh, depth, and height and you can see that while most objects are eight tiles or eight pixels wide, this one is only four. So we can fix that by coming over here and altering the settings for the top face which we have now reduced in size and now it looks right we could do the same for the front face uh, let's see oh that's the right face front face and now the front and back faces also look right and now the right face. Right face has this huge gap on the right side. And you can see it here uh, on the model. Um, so let's widen it up a bit. And also offset it slightly less. Now, unfortunately, uh, on this particular object, these lines are never going to line up. And the reason is, is because there's a slight problem with these two lines in the original texture. They come out one pixel too many and start uh, one pixel too late down the uh, door. But that does not look bad. And now, if you press F1 again, it's fixed in the game. And every door that uses the shape and frame is also fixed. So this is how I'm going to, as quickly as possible, fix all of the objects in the game. Now, if you guys want to help me, boy howdy am I into that. If you um, go into the object editor, you'll see save and load buttons. If you, see, uh, if you click save, it will save your changes to a file called data slash shape table dot dat. This is actually a human readable file and uh, this is where the editor saves and loads all of its data from. The um, shape table dot dat um, is something that you could, if you wanted to, submit to me if you had changes. Just tell me what shape and uh, frame that you changed and I can import them into what will become the master database and maybe we could you know solve this problem together anyway that's Ultima 7 Revisited 006 and I hope that you have fun with it